I just wanted to ask you both individually, sort of how you started diving and tell us a little bit about your, your diving history. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I think I've started to, to swim <laughs> before I could walk, actually. I, I grew up in a small town uh, on the Adriatic Sea. Uh, so the sea was always part of my life. And, uh, and my father taught me to dive when I was four, can we say it? <laughs> Let's say my first certification, uh, um, I got it when I was 12. Uh, but I've always been a very passionate diver. Then, uh, uh, then I also became a technical diver. I've, uh, uh, I also sometimes use uh, uh, rebreathers. Um, re very recently, I discovered my new passion that is cave diving. So, I mean, the important for me is to be underwater, <laughs> then be it wrecks or caves uh, uh, or a very, very simple recreational shallow dive. That's always uh, very yeah, thrilling. <laughs> blowing bubbles. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. How about you guys? What, how, how did well, it start? I, I, uh, I didn't start diving before I could walk, but uh, I started diving when I was uh, 16. I went with a, a classmate to a, a local dive school. It seemed interesting. Uh, we did a test, like a kind of a try dive in a pool. And uh, I said, oh, I love this. I want to be a diver. And that was in 88 when I was 16. And we are 31 years later and I'm still diving. Um, and it, it actually, I became an instructor in 94 and the last couple of years, I actually, next to diving, I, um, I'm also doing service in a SAR helicopter as a rescue diver. So I have an interesting ca diving career. Oh, wow. Very uh, that must be exciting, doing uh, search and rescue work. Yeah. You'll have to come back and tell us about that. <laughs> okay, deal. <laughs> yes, I think that's a conversation for another episode. <laughs> so what about your um, favourite dive sites then? Who's a guy? Do you want to tell us your favourite dive site? Oh, that is very, very difficult. You know, it's... Uh, I, I, I originally come from, from Belgium and I can tell you that uh, there is none of my favourite dive sites will be in Belgium. <laughs> Um, but uh, I've dived a lot in, in Holland and it's a very nice place to dive. Uh, I, Maldives is great. Uh, Norway was fantastic. I had great experiences in the, in the Bahamas. Uh, oh, it's too, it's difficult. It, every country is, diff is different. Uh, it's, uh, Italy is fantastic. France is great. It's, I, I can't choose. If, if you could I pick one though. I haven't been diving in the UK yet. Maybe if I go diving in the UK, then I would be able to answer the question and tell me exactly which is my favorite dive site. <laughs> well said. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, how about you? Well, uh, you know, I've, I've traveled a lot. Uh, I've seen, I was so lucky to have the, the opportunity to see so many beautiful places, but I must admit that Mediterranean Sea is still my, uh, the place of my heart, <laughs> like where I really like to dive. And uh, especially uh, if you talk about Italy, the Tyrrhenian side, um, so the, the West Coast, uh, has some amazing uh, places. And uh, one of the places where I actually did all, all of my very, very first uh, dives when I was <laughs> um, a teenager, uh, is, I don't know if you ever heard about it, the um, marine protected area of uh, Portofino, uh, which is in Liguria, so northern Italy. Uh, and there you have, uh, uh, a, it, it's an amazing uh, landscape, um, both uh, outside and inside of the water. The water is most of the times crystal clear, uh, and it's a very well kept um, uh, protected area. So you have like huge uh, groupers uh, and, uh, and a lot of kind of fishes, the moon fish, you can see uh, dolphins sometimes. It's amazing. And there are beautiful wrecks uh, as well. So that's probably what, one of the places I feel closer to me. <laughs> one of my bucket list dives is actually in, it, in Italy. Um, it's Baiae. Um, Baya, know, yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. Love, love, have either of you two dived that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 
that's the place where you can see um, all the remains from uh, Roman times. Yeah. So we have uh, ancient uh, Roman uh, villas with the, uh, how do you say that in English? Mo mosaics? I yeah, know mosaics. The... <laughs> and uh, that's amazing. You should go there, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think um, it, they had Julius Caesar's villa and Emperor Nero's villa there, didn't they? Or they still have? Yes. I'm not well, sure, <laughs> not well, sure what, if it was Julius Caesar's village, but uh, <laughs> surely it was a village. But I, I, I don't remember who it, who, who, who was it, who it belonged to, but I don't think it was Julius Caesar, actually. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. well, Let's say it was Julius Caesar, it sounds better. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll have to put that on our European tour, Jim. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. we want to well, and then if you'd like to um, to come close to um, to our headquarters, uh, you know, the, the Europe uh, it, it's um, it's based in, in central Italy uh, in this region called Abruzzo, uh, and a few kilometers uh, south uh, from us, you have a tiny group of islands uh, that are called. Tremiti Islands, uh, and uh, that's also a marine protected area. So you have a lot of fish um, and some Roman uh, wrecks uh, as well. So you you know you can you can find all the uh, amphora um, in the water, and that's that's also a very very nice place to visit. Uh, do, does that mean you two are going to be our guides then? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I can see a, a long road trip coming up, Jim. 